Hello right, guys and welcome back to a brand new video here on the channel. My name is James and today we're going to go ahead and sit down and talk to you guys about the latest news in regards to Reading Football Club. Now life as a Reading fan is strange. It really is strange. You get the highs and the lows consistently. You've never got a consistent momentum just shifting of high and then staying or low and staying. No, it goes high, low, high, low, especially this season after the emphatic win over Swindon. Uh, on Tuesday night, details last night came out about a potential takeover for Reading Football Club. Now, normally I'd sit here and I'd be very happy about a potential takeover. You know, it's what we've been asking for. There's been rumours of Redbird Capital floating around. But unfortunately, the details on a potential takeover for Reading Football Club came out yesterday. As William Storey is potentially set to take over. Um, in regards to a £50 million deal to take over Reading Football Club, subject to the EFL's owners and directors test. Now, he has failed this twice before, so I'm not getting massively too concerned because he's failed this twice with Sunderland and Coventry. And he's kind of known to be a local con artist, well not a local, but a con artist if we're being completely honest. Now, I don't know anything about Formula One personally, um, it's not something I'm interested in, but having a read through of what the bloke's done in the past, it's just a bit of a scumbag. I mean, he attempted to get involved with F1 by owning a team, reportedly putting together an offer to land Force India, now known as Aston Martin, uh, when they hit financial difficulty, but he wasn't seen as a viable long-term owner as a result he changed his approach to become a sponsor he then joined forces with Haas um, he chose to get rid of their own color scheme and adopt a black and gold color scheme which is seen on his rich energy cans story was vocal about his plans to overtake industry leader Red Bull um, as stating he wanted to beat the Austrian company on and off the track essentially uh, what happened was he agreed a lucrative deal to become a main sponsor of the team, only to pull the plug uh, after several comments on social media. The team then, I spoke to some of my mates who's an F1 fan, said that they've never been the same since. He said that not before they were like one of the best that weren't one of the main like companies in Red Bull, one of the main teams. Now they're always at the bottom of the track. And, you know, this all really has come from William Storey um, not having the money that he says he has. Now, when you look at their books as well, I mean, I think it was just a couple of years ago, he had 500 quid in the bank account for the business account for Rich Energy. Realistically, is this someone that is going to take over Reading Football Club? I don't think so. But the news is out there and we've got to talk about it. Further details have come out about the takeover itself. It was reportedly agreed on Wednesday. Uh, Story has pledged to clear the club debt in a deal understood to be worth around £50 million and it includes the stadium and Bearwood. Now he's promised to privately invest in the playing staff once transfer embargo is lifted. And what's he going to invest? Three grand? Four grand? Uh, I mean, based off companies' house and books and like stuff like that, when you see the publicly released books, this is all the money that's in the account of Rich Energy. Stories understood to have bought the club outright, having sourced some funding from wealthy backers. Now I don't know. Again, it's not been, it's not come out who these backers are. But again, are they going to continue to back him? Uh, the deal is subject to the football league's fit and proper test, uh, which will take about six weeks. New ownership team were planning to begin working this week, nonetheless. It's reported that Story has met Ruben Celes too. Now, like I said, he's failed the fit and proper test twice before. And the fact that this is all publicly released information should show that he should fail it anyway. Um, in regards to the new rules, it's not allowed to come out that you're buying the football club until the EFL, I think, give approval or something like that. So the fact that this has even come out shows to me that it's just a bit of a facade. I feel like it's just a bit of a fake to almost be like a gimme for someone to come and buy the club for the lower price of 50 million compared to what Die Young originally had it at, at 80 million. I don't believe that this is going to be true and I don't know if it's me saying it myself or if it's my heart or if it's something like that. I don't know if my head is not believing it but I truly don't believe that William Storey will become Reading's owner 
and I think it's just because he is widely known as a con artist and someone that that liquidates companies and that doesn't follow through on stuff. Look, I'm not going to sit here and act like I'm an expert on all this because I really am not. But based off the information that's been given and the information that's been put out there, I don't think that this is going to be something that will will stand. I think it's a gimme. I think it's something that a come and get me plea, uh, realistically. Listen, that's going to be it for this video today. Just something on top of everything that's gone on today. Um, we have recently launched um, kind of just like prints and stuff like that uh, in regards to Reading Football Club. Uh, there will be others coming soon as well, so it won't just be Reading, but we started off with a Reading one. Uh, you can see here the first one is in regards to Reading beating Derby by five goals to nil. This is kind of just like our tester. We do have others up on the website right now on our eBay. Um, it's Reading defeating Luton by four goals to one in the Simmer Cup final. Uh, from 1988 so you can go ahead and see that there they're available to purchase down in the comment section below uh, we'll leave the link to the ebay um, but yeah it's just a little side project that we've got going on here that's going to be it for today's video though guys thank you very much for watching my name's been james and we'll go ahead and see you again very soon thanks for watching see you next time bye bye